when I talk to you admissions people, if they have two individuals that are, you know, qualified, two very qualified individuals that they have to choose from, how do they make that decision on who they want to bring onto their campus? And 99.9% .9 of the time, it's, it's the extracurricular activities that those students have. The things that they do in the community. They're looking for well-rounded students because they want students to get onto the campus and then participate in things like that. So tell us how important that has been to you. One thing with, with college is that there are a lot of things to do. If you have a really strong opinion of what you want, definitely look at the school and make sure that it's offering those extracurricular activities. If it's going to be debate, if you like speaking, or if it's going to be newspaper, if you like writing, or if it's going to be mock trial if you want to be a lawyer. Something that's important to know about HBCUs is that it's not only for black students. It welcomes students of all demographics and all backgrounds. Something that was important at Southern University always was the Bayou Classic. I'm not even into football like that, but I would like to um, just be around my family and, and see people who look like me. I went to a predominantly white high school in Long Beach and my experience, I had, I felt like I wasn't really acknowledged or validated a lot. And I wasn't really seen as important. So I wanted to go to a school that would make sure that I was seen as an individual and not just being seen as a black girl or just being seen by my hair or, you know, what I look like. Uh, my experience at DMHS, um, I think it was really good. Um, I know the population of African Americans, you know, it's pretty small. Um, we had an after-school coach, he coached the basketball, he was really good. Um, and so we really built a community here, uh, even though it was a small group of us. After high school, I decided to go to Cal State Dominguez Hills. So I think whatever campus you go to, uh, whether it is HBCU, if you get out and you talk to people and you meet new connections and you find your group in your hub, I think that's gonna motivate you, uh, it's gonna inspire you, um, you're gonna get ideas, and this is gonna be a great overall experience. So this resource guide has now been used by somewhere in the year about five million students, used by thousands of counselors. After we had success with this, the county called us back and said, hey, we have special populations like these that need information. Will you help us create another book, another 80-page book? And we did that. That entire 80-page book is behind that button. And we'll walk through that. This is here because, once again, this is available on your phone, on your tablet, on your computer. So if you have young students that need to understand the difference about, you know, grades and GPAs, class sizes and things like that, schedules and so forth. So we have data in there and information to make sure that parents and students understand that process of moving from trans transition from middle school into high school.